Welcome back guys. We're gonna be working on the boat and trailer once again today. Got an issue with this setup and I've got an easy solution for it. So if you look here, you can see that the boat has been rubbing on this and we don't want that to eat. I mean, this I don't really care about, but the boat, we don't wanna damage the boat on the trailer. So we're gonna wrap those in carpet today. And then I've also got some other stuff. I'm not gonna do it today, but it will be in today's video, so stay tuned. But first, if you guys are interested, you gotta check out Canadips. If you are somebody who dips or wanna quit dipping or you want an alternative that's healthy for you, Canadips is the way to go. It is a no tobacco, no nicotine pouch that uh, tastes really good. And it's got 10 milligrams of CBD in each pouch, so that's good for you. So if you guys wanna save some money and check out Canadips, click the link down below and check it out. Okay, so I don't have all that much carpet, but it's definitely enough to get it done. I've got some liquid nails that I think might work. And I've also got some self-tapping screws. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is wrap the carpet around and throw a couple of self-tappers in each corner and uh, put some construction adhesive on there with the liquid nails and zip tie it on, hold it on tight and let it cure and dry and should be good to go. So. Let's get started on this thing. Don't know exactly how much carpet I'm gonna need either to wrap this around. I don't need it to come up all that far. Just cut it right about there. Yeah, I think something about like that is what we wanna do. That actually looks like it's gonna hold really well. I think we're gonna put three in each side here. So I'm using some zip ties here as kind of clamps. Wish they were bigger, so I have to use two of them for it to just go around the pipe here, but it's all right. I will say that this is not for any kind of good looks or anything. It's really just more about function on this part. So might end up looking a little sloppy, but I think that's all right. That ought to work. Well guys, you know how I was saying that uh, it was wide enough for the boat to fit through? It isn't. Um, not that big a deal actually, but I'm glad I put the carpet on. It'll help to alleviate some of this issue. I took the boat off of the trailer and as I was putting it on, I realized that as it's going onto the bunks, as it's passing through this first one, at the widest part of the boat, it is just barely big enough to touch it on both sides. So I think in the future when I'm like dropping this thing in the water, all I have to do is back it down into the water a little ways. So then the boat floats up just a hair and I'm able to get it off. Or I can just lift up the front end or back end and pull it off. So, I mean, really not that big a deal, but it's definitely something to know about and keep in mind. So I'm not scraping up the sides of this boat, but that's what the, uh, the carpet on the rails there on the ladder rack is gonna look like. I got all four of them done. I don't think this one up here was really all that necessary, but just in case, I wanted to have it. So, I mean, it didn't cost me anything. I had everything I needed. So that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna come back through once all that adhesive is set, and I'm gonna put three more screws into the loose side and maybe touch up anywhere that might need adhesive. But overall, I think this is gonna do the job. I've got plenty of carpet left to replace it in the future. So. I think that's gonna work out really well for us. So I got Adam here with me today and we're gonna be working on the trailer a little bit. The game plan is to add some reverse lights to the trailer. So we're gonna be adding that to the ladder rack. I've got somewhere around here, wherever it is. I don't see it, okay. Well, I've got a waterproof switch that we're gonna add and we're gonna wire these reverse lights up to the tail light. So if I flip the switch, the reverse lights will come on while it's hooked to the truck. So. Should be pretty basic, but we're tearing this down. We're gonna run the wires through the ladder rack here for each of the lights that are gonna be on the corners. So um, basically running power from the trailer lights to the LEDs and then grounding it on the trailer. So that's the plan. Adam, you think we can do it? I think we'll do it. It's a little foggy here. 
the camera was inside, now it's outside, it's kind of humid, so that explains that. Where are you gonna have the wire come out of? I don't know yet. Decide it right now. Well, let's uh, decide right now. Why? Because it's gonna be running through this little hole up here. Because you want it to go here. Okay. Yeah, we can do that way. Because it's gonna run through this over down that side. All right, Captain. The tricky part's gonna be getting it through this little tiny hole over here. But I might need to like run a piece of like bailing wire through there and just pull it through. Okay. What problem? Problem solved. Except we went the wrong direction, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Getting it down through the bottom hole is gonna be tricky. Hopefully it's not too big to fit through the hole. Cool. Pull that through. I just leave and just get down through. Now we gotta do the fun part here. Which might be easier with this off. No. Now if we did everything right, it should come all out just fine and dandy. I don't know if that's big enough for the hole. Money. We got it. Now we're just running all the power wire back. So we've got one power wire ran from this post right here, across, down, and along the frame, and we'll hook it into the trailer light up there and splice it in. Now we gotta figure out how we're gonna ground the lights. Probably up high like that, so then it's out of the way of this coming apart. We're just gonna use a self tapper here, because we can. I mean, it's not the tightest thing in the world, but I think it might work. I'd maybe just hold on to it while I tighten it down. That might help. That's toy like a toy guy. Dude, my fingers are all greasy from that sausage. Sausage finger? I got sausage fingers, and I'll drill through there. In case you guys aren't keeping up, I had more black wire than red wire, so. The positive running from the trailer to the lights is black to red, red to black. No, you can't just do that though. This red to this black, this black to this red. Yeah. I guess hypothetically, I could just ground it on a uh, trailer light. So we have to check and make sure everything works. As I get the trailer caught in a bush. We've got the lights working. I've got them on a switch up here. So if I'm gonna turn them off, boom, turn them back on, on and off right there, waterproof switch. That's pretty nice. The uh, tail light down here is not working. So we gotta figure that out. <sighs> I knew one wasn't working. So I guess we'll just have to uh, replace the lights. So that's kind of a bummer, but no big deal in the end. But we got the the reverse light's working. I think that's gonna be awesome when we're backing down boat ramps this winter. Wired it up for you guys who weren't keeping up. We used the brown wire for the trailer lights, which is the tail light light. And then we wired the ground to the trailer. So pretty straightforward. And then up here, I've got spliced in the waterproof switch. And it's just spliced into the tail light wire on there. So just a little front and backwards action and she's lighting up the night. So I could have gone and installed one into the cab of the truck, but I think this will work out pretty well for what I needed. Um, I'm gonna come back out and unhook everything anyways. So no big deal about having to flip a switch 
or even just getting out of the truck just to flip a switch. So not a big deal there. So I think it turned out really good. The carpet looks good on the sides. It's looking like it's gonna stay stuck there pretty well. Um, backup lights, carpet. I think we're getting close to the end, boys. It's been one wild ride. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.